Hi, sweeties. Happy Catterday and welcome to your daily spirit message reading. This is for Saturday, November 16th. Okay, so let's just start shuffling the cards. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing great. And I just, where is my talk show host ability today? It's gone. <laughs> Actually, Lacey gave me this look that really shook me because before... I started doing the reading. I took like enormous like and it was a loud slurp from my cup of tea and she gave me the <laughs> facial. <laughs> Made me feel bad. <laughs> anyway, let's start pulling cards. I love this card. This is the four of pentacles. I absolutely love this. This is, um, you know, this is the card to kind of reflect somebody that is a bit of a tightwad. I want to think of my father when I say those words. <laughs> Counting every penny. But I think this is brilliant. Like, there's some assets being hidden. I'm going to write that down. Hold on. See, I love this, like this little cat in his cave and he's counting his money. He's like, Ooh. <laughs> So this is like your sign to start diverting I was gonna say siphon but I don't think that's a great word diverting some of your funds if you're not currently doing this already or you can coach somebody that is like hopeless with finances um, take five ten whatever they can afford dollars and put it into I don't know what the minimum uh, deposit or whatever into an RSP or um, I don't know what it's called around the world, but 401ks possibly, or just, you know, into a vacation fund and set that up automatically from whatever sort of income that you have coming into your life. Or maybe you want to put something away for your children or your grandchildren and then never touch it, you know, just let it grow. And this is what this four of pentacles is all about. It's not being a cheapskate. It is like saving up and in a way that is gonna really benefit you in the future, okay? Because I see with the Knight of Cups here that the universe is gonna come in. Here's you saving your stuff, you know, saving your money, doing the responsible thing, diverting your funds, and the universe is going, Okay, this could also be a really good time to donate to charity is what they're saying. Okay, so really cool when they just kind of come in and, and pop that into my brain. Okay, so anything that you're going to save, the universe is going to match it in some way. Okay, um, but they're saying whatever you're able to donate and this can be funds, it can be something out of your home that has monetary value. The amount that is going to be matched is going to be amplified and I'm getting by four. So I think that's really cool. I think in some, some places it's called tithing or donating. I know a friend of mine, he's like rolling in money um, he gives away about 30% of his income, but he can afford that. And I think that is kind of a basic rule for some people, but imagine if you're having like not the best time financially, or you're just making it, you know, imagine giving away 30% of your income. I don't think anybody should feel that kind of pressure um, to donate that amount of money. So whatever you can do and just know that the universe is going to match that for you. Um, and it's going to be multiplied based on what actions that you're taking. So, and I see that this strategy 420, um, <laughs> sorry. This strategy can help you leave any financially stressful area. And you know what? You just look around at everybody and people even with tons and tons of tons of money, they're always welcoming in new money, you know? So it doesn't matter how much money you have. You can always have more, am I right? I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with having lots of money. And people say that money can't buy you happiness. Well, it can buy you the absence of stress 
with the Ten of Swords, I forgot to talk about this card, it can just, you know, fill your cupboards. It can allow you to help other people. It can help you pay off your vehicle, your home. So, I mean, if that's not happiness, I don't know what is. It doesn't mean that you have to go out and buy, um, we have the page of wands here. Just be careful with your money too, you know, and maybe just talk to your, I'm gonna spell this G-O-D or whoever you, um, whoever you pray to or talk to ask them for help you know what is the best strategy here um and i think you'll just be like coming up i'm getting this is, is it a song coming up roses i'm not gonna sing i don't even know the words and now Lacey's glaring at me some more so i think this is great news so use this how you will and i'll see you guys bye 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 uh, still here <laughs>